Hello everyone, welcome to Team of the Four Gold, Fading Light. So you get this cutscene of this uh, zombies and this woman. And I believe that is the Voodoo Queen. So in the New Orleans Cemetery. So we're going to go up here, up this ladder. You don't have to do this now. And to be honest, if you're going for time, you, you would want to do this later on. In fact, this is just for a secret. We're not getting the secret now. So we are, but it's, the secret's not in this room, but we need the key. As you can see, there's also some Uzi ammo flares and key so let's go and you're going to use the key straight away I forget what this key is called actually the cemetery key as you can see there New Orleans cemetery this door opens when you approach it now that is important. But let's go and claim the secret. It's in here. Now let's look how it starts. It says four free secrets. Now that's because we've got four secrets in the entire game, but three is meaning there's three in this level. Let's leave this area. I believe... Hmm, nope, I thought I was a pick up there for some reason, but never mind. I'm not too worried. Shoot this out. Now be careful because there's a zombie that spawned. Oh no! So I'm back at the spot where I just died and I am going to save. I know it's not that bad. Very well. As soon as it goes up, you want to wait and run past. That means the door. Oh, careful. There you go, there's some zombies about, but they're not going to... If you're careful, they won't attack you. Well, I'll uh, have to be careful. It's a good idea to sprint. To keep away from them. This is the door that opened. Now we're going to open up the door to get out. Also, spirit. Oh, this is a time lever. I forgot. So we got the spirit after us. And it's time to get rid of him. Thankfully, we've already got this door open into the water. So yes, I just did that. I've got... So if you want to save damage, make sure you've got that door open. Now, if you're up here, on top of this building, there is some of the clips, but they are not possible to get, as far as I'm aware. So 
starting to stun these guys a bit. There's some dogs who are highly likely to attack if you're not careful. Shoot out the things. And at some point these dogs are going to come to life. So there you go. Shoot out that thing behind to open up the door to escape. Run out. There are some zombies after us. But we just got to place these spears that I should have mentioned, but I forgot, sorry. On these dolls things, on the statues. So it's been a while since I've recorded this level. But never mind. So I'm back. So I'm going to come to here. There's some water down below. The green tint. Doesn't matter. You can safely swim into here. Let's grab this medipack. We might not desperately need medipacks in this one. You get plenty of them. In fact, I missed some in the previous level. You also get plenty of easy ammo as well. Actually, I know we got the easy earlier, but we already had them. I forgot to mention that as well. And I thought you could grab that with a running jump to save a bit of time, but now I've wasted that time because I'm thick. <laughs> yes, I'm thick. You all know I'm thick. So it would be nice. Grab a ladder and we'll get hit by some poisonous darts. Thankfully the poison effect is not going to last long, but don't go in the middle because there's enough, that will uh, kill you very quickly. Shoot this thing, there's a medipack underneath it. Now be careful because, oh there's another one there, I don't know if there's anything in this one. No, there's nothing in that one. Oh well. Bags. In fact, right here is worth one of these. Before that lever shows us that door, doesn't do anything on its own. Never leave it. Shows us that door again, doesn't do anything and oh my god. Ah, oh, have to use a medipack there, careful of the flame. Actually it's best to save before doing this. I've got a lot of good times to save in this tier rally. Look careful of the flame. Wait for it to go out. Turn and just run and grab. Now you can safely grab this medipack with that. And the zombie, well, actually, oh, sorry, the zombie does get you. Oh, he crushed me into the fire. How dare he? It's important to note that you cannot kill the zombies. No. Oh, many here. Thank God I saved. Now, I did save team match, but because today, oh, 
time I only have a small amount of time before people get back so I'm going to save it right here again I know I've just saved but Thankfully, when in that make a cutscene, that guy will not attack. I'm out of here. Oh no, I forgot about the flame. It looked like it was out. Oh well. I'm not done with the next 20 minutes, I'm going to have to uh, resume doing this at a later date. Which is fine. I'll just merge the few videos into one. No, that's out. Run. Well. Bugs. Run around the bugs if you can. Now run and jump and the bugs will disappear but there's a secret to be had so this is the second secret of the level so it contains a medipack and some crossbow bolts I'm not sure what kind they are but it doesn't really matter just pick them up so yes I do like to grab as many pickups as I can find. I might have missed one or two, but in the opening area, in fact, I think I have. Oh well. So let's open, go into this big puzzle room. So thankfully, it's not long left for this level. So I'm going to save my game pull this one back so we've got a block puzzle oh yeah, you'll know what it's like to watch lava miss blocks in fact I'll show you what we're doing so you get a picture of the door there that door is right here. Now if you look, it's got numbers Roman numerals one to five in the colours. So remember, so if you forget what tiles is to go on, just look at that and you have to work it out from that. So I'm gonna pull this block out and put it on the uh, Roman numerals. I think that's four or five. I think this is five actually. They, someone let me know if that's wrong. My Roman numerals aren't that uh, good. So we get another picture of the door. So I may go ahead and mention this now uh, because there's not a lot to talk about. The designer of this is working on another game called Fading Light 2. Now this new game, from what I can tell at least, does not feature Lara Croft. Well, I'm not sure if it features Lara actually, we'll, but we will check that out once the game is released. It's not been released yet. I expect to see the walkthrough for that on this channel too. For and it's going to have like a Wild West theme. This is just according to a post on the Team Red forums that I've been reading. I'm not very active on Team Red forums, as most of you will know. But oh well, push this block all the way to the end of the room. This is going to go up a level. 
and just to put this out as well, if you do forget where these things are, if you look up at the ceiling, if I have a look, you can tell because the numerals are above the tiles that they're on. So I'm going to push this onto the tile so we can move up to the next level. This one's number three. And I'm so yeah, push this lever. That's going to raise, and we need to get up there ourselves. So let's come up the ladder. Climb the ladder, Miss Croft. You know you want to. So yes, I am going to save again because during my many practice runs of this, I died whilst making this jump. There's a uh, large, small medi pack in this casket. There's two more caskets up here. One contains the small medi pack. One contains, I believe, ammo for a shotgun. I don't think we've got a shotgun yet, but we will get it in this level. It's part of the secret. So yes. This one is the green one, so I'm going to push it onto the tile and take it upstairs. <laughs> so let's go up with this thing. And let's drop down this weapon never save here because I don't I wouldn't normally save this much but because I've not got a lot of time today. But yeah, I'm I'm gonna try and get this video done before my my dad gets back. He's probably gonna be it's probably not going to be gone long. I don't know when it's coming back. So yes. Pass this on to here for now. We're just going to push it so it's up here but out the way. Just grab the uh, item from this one too. Some shotgun ammo. Now big. Just know that you're not going to need all the ammo that I'm collecting. But it's worth picking it up for sure. Now I come on. Yeah. I'm gonna lower this down again so I can push the other block onto it. See, there's not a lot left of this level actually. I think I might have done the uh, long bit. So yes, press this onto here. And let's raise this up. But the longest part of this level is the maze, so yes. So we got a so this this is a level. This game, in fact, has got eight levels, and this and there's a bonus level where you have to collect three circus tickets, not gold tickets, but they've got a circus written on. If you got one in the previous level, there's two more to get. If you get all three. T with circus tickets, gold tickets, whatever you want to call them. They have to get the free tickets, basically. Just cut the tickets if you want the bonus level. If you do cut the tickets and you don't feel like doing the bonus level, then I don't know why, but you don't have to do it. You can. But I will be doing the bonus level too. So uh, yes, this door's open now. Now there's a spirit.
Just fall down. Because the first thing I'm going to do is get rid of the spirits. Sprint to save some time. The dogs have come alive now, so shit them. I'm going to save it, just in case, so we uh, don't waste too much time. I don't think we can shit these out anymore, but there's some more of these uh, cases. I'm going to search them all. You know, ammo and medipacks and stuff. So yes, I'm going to try and save my, use my ammo for the fourth level. Don't just pick the stuff up. I'm not gonna. Well, I don't mention every time I pick something up, but normally if it's a key item, I shouldn't. I would mention it. So Uzi ammo, and one more case. I'm not sure what's in here actually. Small medi packs, great. Just what I've always wanted. Stand on this thing. It opens up the door. And there's a maze with loads of zombies and idiots. Stupid zombies, I guess. So, I'm going to go left. And the second right you want to take. And then count one, two, three left. And here's the door. So there you have to open up the door. And that's the best way to do it. There's nothing, no other items in this large maze, just that lever. And if you're fast, you won't really get hit. Careful. Okay. That's one down. So yes, yeah, just take that route and you won't get hit. Now it's time to the second one, which does involve a secret. The secret's not in this room, but you do need to do something to, in this room to collect it. And I am going to save because... Poison! So you want to pull this lever. Oh, careful. Now the poison does go down pretty fast. And I'll three of these leaf levers together open up a secret. The other one opens up the door. So if you want to open up the door to get out, just pull that one lever. Come back here and save. I wouldn't normally save there, it's just because if I do die here, I might have finished before you know what I mean. So the second lever is here. Now be careful because this fire will come back on if you're not fast enough. This is the lever that opens up the door to us, the third one. The other three levers are just for the secret. Let's escape the toxic room now. Now I wouldn't recommend doing the tomb one unless you're going for time. Like, I'm not trying to be as fast as I can but I'm just trying to get this done because I don't. Well, I've already said that. I don't think I try that again. One more and just this side. Just probably back and get the heck out. Done. Okay, so that's this one done. I'm also gonna grab the secret now. This is the final secret in this level. As you can see, the door here is open. There's a shotgun. And a medipack. This is secret three. And as you can see in the stats, six or three. So I have to use my other keyboard when I'm pressing escape because my escape on this keyboard doesn't work. So it's time to go into the third room now. And what's in this one I don't remember. 
I don't remember actually, I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah, this one's a bit more tricky. First things first, fight the current, please, Lara. As soon as you get in here, you can pull this lever to raise a block. <laughs> There's nothing else to do in here, so just swim out. Come to this side, it's the only side that you can pull out on. And where is this? I forgot where the thing is. Oh, it's right here. But for some reason, I don't remember where this was. I'm going to say it again. Because there are some spikes. So I'm going to run onto this all four of <laughs> so open up a door, you actually want to stand on all four of these tiles. One. That's how you make this jump. Second one. Now you can use the outside ledges. <sighs> Lara. Stupid woman. Okay, so I'm back here. There we go, that's better, that's two done. So you're not standing all four tiles. So what I do is I like to just jump on and jump off. Oh yes. So one more. I'm going to save it again. And I thought it was time for a sec then, oh well. Oh god, dogs. This is the hardest of the four rooms to do. So yes, one more room. Oh, stupid woman. Actually no, it doesn't matter, I can pull out here. I don't want to fall into the water. Oh well. Actually, you could. Actually, no, I don't. Do a dive, I think. One, two, three. Yeah, you should do a dive. I might do that next time, actually, to save a bit of time. Oh well. I'll try and dive there. Uh... So this one's not that bad. I'm just going to say, just in case. You just want to jump into this crevice. And as soon as that goes away, you want to run and jump. You don't want to run and jump. Sorry, my bad. I'm gonna run and do a jump. How am I survive that? I don't know, but I'm definitely saving. This one you can do a running jump because you can go past it without worrying. It's a cool believer. I'm close to ending this. Thank God for that. <laughs> Do a half tile jump. 
careful not to overshoot, save. Run. <sighs> Normally gives me the least amount of trouble. <sighs> so yeah. I believe. You can dive, yes. You can just dive into this water. I won't. So yeah, if you don't get a shotgun in this level, don't worry too much because you will get it in the next one. The next level is called Voodoo Land, the so you know. So yeah, this level is kind of creepy in some ways. I'm just going to start dreading this one, but it's not as bad as it first appeared. Actually, I'm going to go back into here. No, I have had it with a spirit respawns. But from what I can tell, I don't think that should happen. I should happen. No, that's not happening. Good. No, I think there's no pickup. There it is. Sometimes if you can't see it, just go off and have a look. See, I didn't get this before because of, uh, you know, it. So I'm going to save here. I'm just going to grab a screenshot for the thumbnail, I think. I might use that one, I might use the other one, I'm not sure yet. So you just want to swing off this chain or rope. It's a chain, it's a rope, it's whatever you want it to be. Hopefully this recording went well. Hopefully my audio went well. No! Oh, I'm in here. I don't know why uh, I was being such a penis head today. I don't know why I called her that either. Oh well. Well, just don't be a, pe a penis head this time. <laughs> Come on. Yes. I believe there's a boulder here as well, so uh, just run up, roll, roll back. And it's that boulder again. Lines in the water. I don't know how if you you to get back if you spoiled all those tiles. Whether you would be able to get back. Any hoot. Thank you guys so much for watching this level of Fading Light in New Orleans Cemetery. I'll be back in the next level to check out Voodoo Land. But if that's what it's called, yes, Voodoo Land. So I'll see you then everybody. Bye bye.